Hello, this is Gail Morton again, and I'm going to show you how to use another database. Um, this one is an EBSCO database. You'll see earlier video, this one's from ProQuest, so it looks a little different. So we're going to start out by going to libraries.mercer.edu. Scroll down a little bit. And I could go to databases right here if I know what it is, but I'm going to take you here, Research Guides and Tutorials. see 44 subjects here and these subjects have databases that are pertinent to that subject so let me show you here I'm going to take you down to um, psychology there it is I'm just going to click on psychology and these databases that I selected are good for psychology so any one of these will do but I'm going to look at this one this one's EBSCO Okay, I'm going to show you a little search, see how this works. Here we go, mass incarceration, so I was going to do. And you'll notice down here they give you extra subjects to go by. So mass incarceration and racial inequality. So it kind of puts those search terms together. I'm just going to click search right here. Okay, and here we are. There's only two results. So you can see this is specialized. Okay. We can e expand this a little. We can change the publication date. I'm going to do 2000 to 2020. Let's see if that changes. It's still giving me two. keep looking to see different ways to expand this because we're going to want more than two. Okay, so let's change our search terms. Mass incarceration and let's see some other things they give you. There we go, African Americans. You'll also see blacks in America. And it sounds the same but the words are different so we could look at both of these. And so if we limit ourselves like this we can look at all these three results, see if anything's different. Now I have seven. So we had racial inequality. We can use those results. We can use mass incarceration of African Americans. I'm going to see how this changes again. So I'm going to get rid of these search terms here. In America. Click search again and see what I get. Now I have 362. So you can see those three terms can all go together, but you'll get different results. So just because there's two, there's different ways to expand it. I'm going to open one of these up. Actually, I'm going to come down here a little bit. And we're going to go to peer reviewed scholarly publications. And since there are 300, well now there's only 92, we can limit it even more. I just want full text. Some of these journals you just get the an abstract, you don't have the full text. You can get the full text though in your library loan for free. But when you have this many, might as well go for the full text. Okay, And we're down to 61. Okay. So there's all these different topics you can pick. I'm just going to open one up. PDF full text. You can see how this works. Okay. Here it is. I can download it right here. Save it somewhere. Oh, cancel that one. But I also want to draw your attention over here to the side. Site. Different ways to cite it using EBSCO. Um, ProQuest looks different than EBSCO, but this will still be fine. I'm going to pick APA. And it gives you information about APA. 
Okay. And here it is in APA. And it's not right. I can tell just by looking at it. So when you're doing your citations, remember, come to the library um, or meet us in Zoom. Go through the ASCO Librarian link and have your citations checked before you turn your papers in. Okay, so that's how you use um, an EBSCO database to find um, articles for your research.